Suspense. Your host is Autolite, world's largest independent manufacturer of automotive electrical equipment. Autolite makes over 400 products for cars, trucks, tractors, airplanes, and boats in 28 plants from coast to coast. Autolite products include a complete line of ignition engineered, standard, and resistor type spark plugs, spark plug wire, distributor caps, generators, voltage regulators, and dependable stay full batteries. Autolite products also include ornamental plastics, electric windshield wipers, wire and cable, fuel pumps, bullseye seal beam headlights, horns, and a complete line of original service parts for Autolite-equipped cars. Autolite serves the greatest names in the industry. So, from bumper to tail light, you're always right with Autolite. And now, Autolite and its 98,000 dealers everywhere present... Licenses, the bills of lading, the freight manifest. I must have them tonight, sir, Plas. Uh, we've been in business for 20 years. I've made hundreds of agreements. And only once have I paid for the delivery date. I do not want it to be twice at my expense. But everything is arranged. American engineer. Yeah, good, yes. Yes, that's yeah. Yeah. American engineer will be here any moment. The lakes are the freight yard. Well, that's good. Kind of... To live with a chance at papers tonight, you'll have your money here first. Two million Swiss francs drawn on the bank of Zurich. To do business with the foreign officials. Oh, no, 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 please come. The American engineer. Now you'll go. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Mr. Stevens. Oh, suppose. 
so. You are Lawrence Stevens, huh? That's right. Good. Thank you. Come, come. Just sit down. Thank you. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, <laughs> oh, would you like to have it? Huh? Oh, nothing. Maybe a little schnapps? No? <laughs> or maybe a little Sachen taught him a good cup of Viennese coffee? Huh? Well, I'll have a little coffee, thank you. All right. You can have some of them. So, they're here. Mm-hmm. Right. The 36 calibrated lands for your electric works. All the way from America. We were happy to fill your order, Mr. Floss. Your father was a wonderful customer of ours, they told me. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and no trouble in transit, huh? Oh, no. Why, should there have been? Oh, no. Cold war and barges. Shipping lanes. They can use it to, to make uh, cannons, arms. Also, the customs they look for, they hold up trends, maybe it's for the Russians, you know, the like that. Oh, sure, nothing like that. <laughs> so, this is Vienna. Oh, you have never been in Vienna before? Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, dear friend. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Wine. Sorry. <laughs> Women, too. <laughs> That's a beautiful air conditioning unit you have there. Uh, 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 tell me, Mr. Stevens, could you give me the transit paper now? Uh, oh, yeah. Because then I can take care of the sure. business details and afterwards we can enjoy ourselves. <laughs> well, it isn't all going to be uh, fun and pleasure, Mr. Floss. You see, uh, my company wants me to supervise the installation of those mains. Oh, yes. Of course. Of course. Uh, I will uh, phone my plant now and will arrange for the unloading for tomorrow. Huh? So, uh, excuse me. Thank you. Oh, uh, you have a plate, ma'am? Oh, danke schön. Uh, my name is uh, Lawrence Stevens. I'm an American engineer. Huh? Are you Viennese? <laughs> yes, uh, I have an excellent selection of meatballs over there. We can enjoy ourselves. Huh? Oh no, you won't eat this. No, you'll find dinner, no. and then the theater, and then the sights of the Ah, oh, excellent spirits tonight. <laughs> For you. Your passport, schnell. We are the police. Police? What for? I didn't know anything. Take your passport like we ask. Look, uh, how did you fellas get up here? The hotel clerk. Hotel clerk? Well, he had no right, absolutely no right to let you in here. Police or no police. Hey, what are you doing? You know, back home, this is illegal entry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No. Yes. Lawrence Stevens, an American. The passport is correct. Who did you think I was? Donald Duck? Oh, wait a minute. What are you... What is this all our way? What is this, anyway? They are pleased to be careful, Herr Stevens. Vienna is full of people who grow fat like pigs, smuggling forbidden goods to the Russians. It would be better if you kept an eye on those layers you are shipping. Yeah? Cross. <laughs>
Their trailer? Yeah. Oh. They uh, sent me to come here. I'm Lawrence Stevens. Yesterday, a string of freight cars came into your yard carrying some calibrated lathes. Uh, three cars, to be exact. Also? So, uh, do you mind telling me where they are? I mean, have they been moved? Perhaps. Perhaps. Well, don't you know? Uh, don't you know, man? Look, this is the freight yard office, isn't it? Well, I have to be there for the unloading. They're lathes, mister, not baggage. Everything must be just so for the Americans, yeah? A thousand freight cars in the Vienna yards, and I should know schnell like that where the Americans cars are. For whom, my dear? For whom were they in transit? For Oscar Floss of the uh, Floss Electrical Works in Vienna. Ladies, That's right, ladies. They've been rerouted already, those freight cars, to Hamburg. They were moved this morning. What? To Hamburg, Germany, rerouted. Destination changed. They are on their way. You understand that? <laughs> Hello? Let me have the Hotel Hoffman, please, quickly. Who told you to change the destination? You mean, who told me? Is it my freight? Are they my lathes? Hello? Hotel Hoffman? Uh, let me speak to Herr Ploss. Herr Ploss, that's right, Ploss. Quickly, please. Look, you can't change routes and destinations without papers, not even in Austria. Oh, there were orders. Hello? Ploss? Oh, listen, this is Stevens. Look, those lathes, yes, they're missing. They're missing, that's right. They're missing from the freight yard office. No, no, it's not my imagination. I'm, I, I'm in the freight yard office right now. They've been rerouted to Hamburg. Right. Right, I'll meet you in my hotel room in half an hour. I'm being of some service, nicht? Nick is right, boy. So sorry <laughs> that such a calamity should spoil your holiday in Vienna. But still, you will prolong your stay, right? You still catch up on the wine, the song, and the women, too. <laughs> Tell me, Mr. Plaza, are things like this usual around here? I mean, <clears throat> you know, rerouting freight cars like that? You mean because I speak so lightly of pleasures at a time like this? Oh, my dear friend, why help the gray hair? And the wrinkles of love. Do not always be a soil of pleasure. <laughs> Besides, my friend Havola is a very important man. He is supervisor of the Vienna freight yards. Oh, he can take care of everything. Three freight cars with calibrated lathes were out into Hamburg, valued at. Um... One million American dollars, Mr. Waller. Yes, but this is surely a mistake. Do not be alarmed, Herr Stevens. The railroad will look instantly into the matter. Wait a minute. I bet that's what they were trying to warn me about. Who? Oh, oh, the police. Police? Yes, the police. Last night. Came around here asking for my passport. Gentlemen, this could be a case of smuggling. They told me that Vienna is full of people smuggling goods to the satellite countries. That's what could have happened to the ladies. I... The smugglers do not work in this way. You are a warrior, <laughs> Herr Stevens. <laughs> you will take care of your lads. You enjoy yourself in Vienna. Right. Huh? right. Oh, by the way, when we locate these lads in Hamburg, we we'll want you to come and identify them. You will come, yes? Yeah? Of course. I don't want to see those machines get into the wrong hands. Mm -hmm. Very good. Thank you. Thank you. Nice, sir. He does end. Bye, have all up. Congratulations, Mr. Stevens. You've just made a deal with Comrade Vola, agent for the Polish Communist government.
Hello, this is Rex Marshall, speaking for Autolite. We'll get back to our suspense story in just a moment. Well, I'm glad to report that at least uh, a small bit of springtime finally showed up here in New York last week, which sent a lot of us out on the golf course for the beginning of another hopeful season. <laughs> but you know, no matter how bad or how good you are, if you like golf, it's always a real pleasure to see another expert in action. Like, for example, Jimmy Thompson, shown right here. Now, just take a look at the way Jimmy swings, connects with that ball, and follows through. Well, now... Let's watch the same thing in slow motion. Well, as you know, perfect golf like that requires perfect coordination with every muscle working in complete harmony. And you know the same thing is true with the electrical system of your automobile. If you want top performance, every part must work in complete coordination with every other part. Like, for example, the complete coordination which is built right in for the electrical systems that Autolite designs and makes as original equipment for some of America's finest cars. Electrical systems that include such parts as the Autolite starting motor, the battery, the generator, and the generator regulator. They also include the ignition coil, the distributor, and the Autolite spark plugs. Well, now, these units and all their thousands of component parts are related like a team by Autolite engineering design and manufacturing skill to give your Autolite-equipped car the smoothest performance that money can buy. This perfect balance and coordination is made possible by Autolite engineering research and control. And because Autolite specialists work closely with the engineers of many of our leading car manufacturers who specify Autolite products as original equipment. Now, because the electrical system is so important for the efficient and economical operation of your car, it'll pay you to have it checked regularly by ignition specialists. So regardless of what make a car you own, see your car dealer or visit your authorized Autolite service station, which is listed in the classified section of the telephone directory under Automobile Electrical Service and displays this sign. Or call Western Union by number and ask for Operator 25. Best authorized auto light service station. And remember... From bumper to tail light, you're always right with auto light. And now, Act Two of FOB Vienna with Walter Matthau and Jane Meadows. Oh, would you mind telling me who you are exactly, miss? Let's talk about your lays. Voller and Foss are smuggling them to Poland. Uh, who are you, please? Helen Brady, International Press Service. Now, how'd you get in here? With a key. You know, it's all a hoax about your lays being for Foss's electrical works. A hoax? Yes. There was no mistake about that change of destination. It was deliberate. Right now, they're FOB Warsaw, not the other. Get your hat. We've got to get out of here, and we've got to catch that train for Hamburg. Now, wait a minute. Wait a minute, Miss Brady. What are you trying to hand me? Mr. Floss is a respectable businessman. Yeah? Well, do you want your lays turning out gun barrels for Poland? Of course not. Well, then we've got to get out of here. Oh, and I have to wire the American consul at Hamburg. Now, wait a minute. Let's Listen, discuss this. I'm a newspaper woman. The story's about to crack, and I need you. Look, you've got to go to Hamburg anyway to identify those lays. Why don't you come with me? I'll pay your fare. Talk me into it. It's insane, impossible. Smuggling lathes to Poland. Listen, Stevens. I've been on this story for months and it's just about to crack. Here. Here are my press credentials. There. 
There's a huge smuggling game going on in Vienna. It's a four-power city, freedom of movement for everybody. And it's a smuggler's paradise. You see, you're from Watertown, New York. There are all kinds of communist agents in Vienna, offering huge sums for industrial machinery from the West. And they're getting it. In the new sixth column, unscrupulous businessmen like Herr Ploss. Herr Ploss, nonsense. My firm's done business with him for years. Yeah, with his father, maybe. But Ploss is reselling these goods to the satellite countries. And through his friend, Comrade Vola. Herr Vola. Comrade Vola, he's a Polish communist. Oh. All right. When the American consul meets us at Hamburg, maybe you'll believe me. We're slowing down. Now, listen, Miss Brady, if uh, that's what your name is, I'll admit that I did hear something about those smugglers. You know, the police came to me last night. No, they night, weren't yeah. police. They worked for me. I just wanted to check on you. You mean to tell me that was a gag, too? And now you expect me to believe this? Yes. Oh. We're stopping. There's not a station along here. Miss Helen Brady? Yes. Who are you? Well, you wired the American consulate in uh, Hamburg, didn't you? Oh, yes. I'm James Forsyth of the consul staff. Oh, when the train stopped, I was alarmed. Oh, I'm sorry. That's my fault. I asked him to do it. I thought it'd be safer to meet you here and then drive the rest of the way to Hamburg. Mm -hmm. This is uh, Mr. Stevens? Yes. And he won't believe a thing I've been telling him. Well, uh, listen, Forsyth. Can you get me off this train? Why, of course. I have a car right outside. Come along, please. Pardon me. Excuse me. <laughs> oh, wait a minute. Yes? I don't think I want to go with you. Well, why not? Well, how do I know you're on the level? Of course he's on the level. Well, look, I've been pushed around enough today, Forsyth, and I don't like people pushing me around. Well, I'm not pushing you around, Mr. Stevens. I'm just trying to be of service, that's all. Well, thank you. But uh, if you don't mind, I just think I'll go right back to Vienna and talk to Mr. Ploss. Ploss is a reputable businessman, and reputable businessmen don't go in for this sort of thing. Uh, if you'll kindly step aside, Mr. Forsythe, I'll leave this train alone. Stevens, we're all getting off this train. Then you can go back to Vienna if you want. But you're the only person who can recognize those lays. We can't. Now move. Ooh, we have a car right behind the station over here. Oh. Sorry about this, Stevens. I don't like pushing people around like this, but it happens to be a very important story. Don't you ever believe anybody? I, uh, I couldn't find the pier guards, but I looked around anyway. This is the only Polish ship in the harbor. It's the Krakow. So, uh, let's take a look. Mr. Stevens, would you please help us examine these crates? You don't have to talk to us. Just look. Oh, don't be absurd, Mr. Stevens. Here now, are these your crates or are they not? My crates. The stenciling's been changed. Am I all right? This one? That's it. That's one of them. They're all my lathes. Finally, the man believes. You're quite convinced that these are your lathes, Mr. Stevens. Of course I'm convinced. What are you going to do, start doubting me now? Of course you've never doubted us, have you, Stevens? Listen, Forsythe, where can I reach the police? Well, there's a dock office out here. There should be a phone in it. Let's go take a look. Let's get it. Is this it? This is it. After you, Mr. Stevens. Miss Brady. Vogue. It's a pleasure, Fraulein. How do you like my American consul? Formerly a member of our embassy in the United States. Sure, thank you. Uh, Stevens, you are going to like Warsaw. And the lanes must be installed, must I say, and who else but you knows the operation best? Besides, you will have female company on your ocean cruise to Warsaw. At the expense of the Polish government, of course. Listen, Mr. Bowler, you can't do this. This is kidnapping. Unheard of, huh? Get them on board and then load the lathes. Wait a minute. You can't touch those lathes. They don't belong to Take you. Take them out. Now, wait a minute. I won't. No. Come on. 
Come on, here comes a fear gun. What's that? He's on the dock. Quick, stop him. Hello? Hello, operator. Operator. Oh, phone. Hello? Hello? Operator. Got a lot of explaining to do, Stevens. Let me help you. Oh. I had a smash the leads. I had to do it. Better smash, Stevens. Right. Better smash and let them get it. So we come to the end of another story of suspense brought to you by Autolite, world's largest independent manufacturer of automotive electrical equipment. Tonight our story was F.O.B. Vienna. Our stars, Walter Matthau and Jane Meadows. Next week, our suspense stories concerns one of the most unusual crimes, a true story, one of the most unusual crimes in the history of American criminal law. Our star will be... An actress well known on the American stage who is particularly well loved here in, in suspense. In just a moment, I'll tell you the title of our story and the name of our star. First, I'd like to remind you drivers that you can be sure of getting Autolite original factory parts for your Autolite equipped car from the dealer who sells your makeup car or from any dealer displaying either of these two signs. Remember to be sure you're right. Always insist on Autolite original factory parts for your Autolite equipped car. Because from bumper to tail light, you're always right with Autolite. Next week, our story will be The Suitor, a true story of one of America's most famous crimes, starring Mildred Natwick. The Suitor, another story well calculated to keep you in suspense. Mm-hmm.